Hey Des, where are we going? Headed to the Buck Cliffs Brothers Hunt after 13 years of waiting. We're going to hunt Buck Cliffs rifle season. Got up early this morning, had everything packed yesterday. We're about two and a half hours from getting there. Happy birthday, Ridge. Thanks. Show us what you got. Yeah. Okay, we got a new set of binoculars. Let's see them bad boys. Perfect gift for opening day of the deer hunt. Yep. Yeah. Got some Bushnell nitros. 10 by 25s. Flip them around. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> and then I got this. Oh, you got that rope too? Yeah. That strap. Things are so crisp, you can see into the future. How big's the buck we're gonna find this morning, Levi? I see him in my vision. He is a 220 inch deer. Good night.
Hey fellas, so what's the story on today? Whoever wants to go first, have at it. Levi? Well, I took Ridge home today. So we glassed in the morning, only saw elk. Had a long eight hour drive there and back, fixed the tire. And this evening I saw a decent 160, 170 buck at last light. And I only see him for about five seconds so didn't really get a good look at him but that was the extent of my night um start your day from the morning we got up this morning pot for pot worked like a champ luckily uh we went up yep that's it it's the key to our success in our mornings uh we went up and tried a new area high country Seen a little buck, some does, come back down, saw some just cows, like moo cows, and just see a deer's butt. Turned out being three bucks, mature bucks, good bucks. One, just horrible genetics, big old buck though, heavy, two point, just pushing the other bucks around. Watched them for a little bit, uh, nothing to shoot in there. Well, there's one good buck, he was like 26, 27 wide, you'll see on the video. Uh, he's a pretty good buck as far as width and maturity goes, but just not quite what we're looking for. So we made a few hikes, uh, glassed some elk, seen some more deer, seen some turkeys. Come back, ate, went out this evening and seen 40, probably about 40 does. Uh, two point, a three point, and a four point. The four point. He acted like he was starting to rut a little bit. He was rubbing, following some does. But uh, yeah, I don't know, bucks are moving in. It's uh, slowly, each day we're seeing more and more, but uh, I've seen a lot of elk, a lot of elk too. But I think in the morning, we'll just kind of stick with the plan. We're gonna stay up to the higher stuff, leave this lower stuff alone. Might go try and get a better look at the buck leave I seen tonight and uh, and kind of go from there. If not, we'll probably stay up in the high country up by the border. It seems to be uh, where the mature bucks are coming down from anyway, so maybe get lucky and catch a glimpse of something tomorrow morning.
the deer are funneling more and more. We've seen three times more deer yesterday, bucks yesterday and deer probably, than we have since we've been here. So it seems like each day is getting better and better. And it's like a switch was flipped. Yeah, you can literally watch them just single file right in front of you. And we did see a buck with a collar on his neck. That was pretty cool. Yeah, that was cool. So, seen, been seeing a few elk. Uh, no predators. I haven't seen any predators yet. But I didn't see predator tracks. Yeah. But tons, tons of deer showing up. That's exactly what we want. So, we're going to keep our fingers crossed and see if we can't find that one in a thousand this morning. Cuckoo. Alright. Day five, here we come. Day five, here we come. Dead. Oh. <laughs> Let's yes. keep an eye on him. <laughs> nice man. What a tough hunt. What a tough hunt. Dude. What is it, eight days in? Yeah. We've been seen, tough just to find a mature deer. We see one one big buck. Jesse did this morning. Like 180 plus, and I come over here hiking everywhere. I could not turn him up, nowhere. We've seen a few mature bucks, horrible genetics, just big threes, big twos. And if we've seen four, super crowdy. And I saw this when we come down after the morning hunt. We got back at like 11 30, 8. Come back out here, just started glassing, seen a few elk. I come over the ridge, I saw a little buck and a doe. I decided to skirt around the, the rim rock here and it's about 200 yards and I, I just seen he looked like a buck I couldn't see his head I just seen his body and he's got that that color to him and I sat there and looked I saw a glimpse of a horn he looked mature I didn't have a spawn scope with me so I went back got my rifle and my pack come back it took five minutes I finally found him again in my binos just walking finally got the scope on him and my scope's only 14 power and I thought I'll just uh, use my scope, use my scope, and he looked real mature, 24 wide maybe, nice back forks, decent fronts, he's not a monster, but man, 13 years of hunting, all I wanted was a mature buck, I was going for putting that in, 70 yeah. plus, yeah, thir yeah, 13 years of putting in, and uh, he's, he's gonna do, he's gonna work, he's a yeah, good buck. he is now. Congrats, man. Let's get Levi over here and get over there. Yeah, let's do it. So I found something pretty cool. I bet you guys have never found before. Let's see it. Yeah. Radio collar. Oh my gosh. No way. Yeah. Dude. Huh. I wonder if it's off a sheep or a deer. I, my, my guess is a deer. DWR. That's gotta huh. be. Did it say year or anything? Uh, 2014. Huh. November. It wasn't wrapped around a body, huh? No, but there was some dead s stuff there, but it was a fawn, and if it was 2014, then it's not from the same body. That or somebody popped it That's and left the collar. <laughs> yeah, I guess they could have. That's a cool find. That is a cool find. I've never found one. I found one on a deer once, but I didn't think deer was alive. I saw a doe with one, too, actually. Dude. So now we gotta pack everything up. Doubles. Double and a hug. Ah. Good job. And you. You. <laughs>
1,200 feet elevation. 1,200 feet elevation. Straight up. Thing, man, man, look at those backs. Yeah. Jeez. The in line. Oh, in line. The eye guards. Man, what a beautiful buck. And after all that, it's I'm been so rough. Worth it. Stoked. Oh my gosh. Big old boxy frame, kind of curled. Really good. Look how nice his bases are. Oh. Beautiful buck. Oh man. Yes. Good job, man. Thank you. Ready for the work to begin? Yes. I feel like this is easy streak now. The work has been getting here. Should we throw in a little slow-mo footage and a cut-up scene? Action. <laughs> 